It may be hard for you to believe, but you're not the best Pokemon trainer. Well, at least that's what Game Freak believes because you really don't exist. However, what if I told you that there is a correct answer? Within the vast world of Pokemon, there is a trainer that is number one. And I'm talking about within the games and the anime. Again, unfortunately, it's not you or I, so sorry. But I'll give you the top three trainers in order within the Pokemon universe. And you might actually be surprised who number one is. And before we get started, if you like the content, hit the subscribe button, it's free. Plus the more people I see hitting the subscribe button, the more I know you like the content. And finally, I appreciate all y'all love and support. Let's go ahead and get into it. Who's the best Pokemon trainer? So I hope you have someone in your head who you think is the best trainer. Because to start this top three list, we have to get rid of the people that do not matter. And of course, the obvious pick are the gym leaders. Every generation has gym leaders or trial leaders. I know that can't be the right name. And as you can assume, majority of them are not gonna make this list. And if you know anything about Pokemon, there's an easy explanation. These goofballs are picking monotype. Now as trainers, we understand that you're supposed to be the best of your specific typing, but it doesn't excuse you for just being a bad trainer. Some of these trainers have have no way to cover up their weaknesses and never learn. We really don't have to examine why Brock is taking L's. Look at his team. Alas, every gym leader follows the same formula except the gym leaders in the Orange Island arc. Specifically, the final gym leader named Drake. Drake has a completely balanced team with only two Pokemon sharing the same typing. This allows him to have very good coverage until, well, Electabuzz knows four moves, Thundershock, Thunderbolt, Thunder Punch, and Thunder. It's safe to say that Drake doesn't really know what he's doing with a specific Pokemon compared to just having different typings. Besides, the dude loses anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So it's safe to say that gym leaders are not the pick for the best trainer. The next one we can look at are the Elite Four members. Now, to be completely honest, the Elite Four members fall into the same trap. Trainers that use the same exact typing for every Pokemon. It's worse because some of them are using two types of the same Pokemon. Bruh. Heck, there's one trainer that's using two sets of two, twice. While it is laughable to call these guys guys the best of the best, there is a beacon of hope somewhere. Some trainers like Flint do have variety within their teams. But let's be honest, are you really scared of a low punny? Not this low punny, this low punny. So the Elite Four members are unfortunately just striked out. However, there still are champions that are part of the Elite Four. And here we'll have our first character on this list, which is Cynthia. You see, Cynthia within the games and the anime is a menace. When it comes to the original Diamond and Pearl, Cynthia's team has amazing coverage. She'll initially start off with a spirit tomb that has no weakness whatsoever. And that's because in the initial games, there is no fairy type. Now, of course, once they add the fairy type, spirit tomb becomes a little bit less useful, but regardless, she had the smarts to do so. And then if you look at the rest of her team, she has Pokemon that cover each other, and plus she's willing to switch out her Pokemon during battle. As a trainer, she gets even better because she's willing to switch out one of her two water types. So looking at how good Cynthia is, there's not too many champions that are as good as her. We can easily rule out the ones that are using monotypes because they still haven't learned, and then there's some champions that have teams that simply don't compare. The closest characters that could take the number three spot from Cynthia are red and blue. Problem is, Game Freak really doesn't treat them like actual champions. In fact, the only time you fight red is during Heart Gold and Soul Silver on a mountain. And when you do, his team's not that great. Of course, he has Pokemon that could be great on the team, but he's running these moves that have to recharge. On that note, red really doesn't exist anywhere else because he's supposed to be you. And then when it comes to blue, we've seen him take plenty of L's. Matter of fact, he lost his spot soon as he got it. But again, let's not be picky here. Cynthia is the number three spot. Now, surprisingly, the number two spot is also going to a champion. And as you can assume, it's not gonna go to any of these mono losers. However, this number two spot is well-deserved. This is a trainer that they hyped up for so long in the anime and the games. This champion has never caught an L in their life. Matter of fact, they even called him unbeatable. Well, that is until you pull it up after your first five days of being a trainer. We're talking about the Galar champion, Leon. While playing Sword and Shield, you hear about how undefeatable Leon is. And for the most part, you have to take Pokemon's word for it. This is the same guy that only used some of his Pokemon during two different battles in the Master 8. If you don't know what I'm talking about, look at these matchups right here. Leon only used three Pokemon to take out the whole team for the Kalos champion. Like, bro, what? Now, we all understand that Leon is not perfect, and he probably was the best champion inside this whole bracket. But alas, there was still one other trainer that was still better than him. Now, before we get into the number one best trainer,
trainer, I must admit my mistakes. Previously, I mentioned before this trainer is a bad trainer. Matter of fact, I said he was so bad, I pointed out many of his L's. But ever since then, this trainer has had amazing achievements. Not only did they become a champion, but they also beat the other champions. The number two spot, Leon, who made it to the finals of these brackets. Yeah, no matter what, he lost because the trainer he fought was better than him. Now, of course, we didn't realize how good he was at the beginning of his journey, but here he is now. The number one best trainer ever is Ash Ketchum. Now, I am perfectly fine admitting I am wrong and retracting what I said before about Ash Ketchum. But for those of you who are still in denial, you have to realize what this guy has done. Unlike most of these trainers that continue to use the same Pokemon over and over again, Ash Ketchum usually continues forward and gets brand new Pokemon. Besides Pikachu, of course, most of this Pokemon start from a base level. Now, of course, there are occasions that he gets a Pokemon that's just completely strong and just trains it. But regardless, he's doing this with brand new Pokemon every single generation. Here's a great example. When Ash Ketchum fought Cynthia in the Master 8, these are the teams that they use. Have you noticed that the Pokemon I'm showing you are the same Pokemon that she used earlier? Every single Pokemon that Cynthia used are Pokemon that she's had for years. Meanwhile, the only Pokemon that's not new on Ash Ketchum's team is Pikachu. All five of these other Pokemon made their first debut after the Galar region. And regardless of how new these Pokemon are, he still beat them anyways. It is true that Ash Ketchum has had many mistakes, and I did a full video about that over here, but that does not mean that he's not better now. Now, there still are insanely busted trainers such as this cheater over here, but we can't give a good concrete answer as to how good they are. Reason being is because we don't have enough information about them, and the only time we ever see these characters do anything is when they have to fight Ash. So in that case, doesn't it make sense that Ash Ketchum is the best trainer? I'll just answer that for you. Yes, he is. But hold on, hold on, hold on. Before you click off this video, I want to say thank y'all for watching. Again, if you want to support what I do, consider subscribing and checking out the links, all that other good stuff. And plus, tell me who you think the best Pokemon trainer is. And no, no, I don't want to see any comments saying that it's Misty. You know it's not right. But I told you before I did a video about how bad Ash is. If you want to see that still, check it out over here. Otherwise, for you Unova fans, I got a video for you guys over there. So go ahead and check them out. I'm sure you're enjoying them. Y'all have a good one. Take care. Love y'all.